Good morning and welcome to Kelp Rock and Dock. I'm Evan Salve, and today we're out here on the beautiful Pacific Ocean, completely bit by a bunch of poison species. Yeah! Yeah! We got it. Love it. Two dolphin. I got a nice Toronto on right now. The magic patty is going off. This is what we're talking about Southern California sport fishing. Stay tuned. Kelp Rock and Dock with Evan Salve is presented by bookbuzz.com. Special thanks to. So we're heading out of the bay right now. We gotta stop and get some bait at the bait barge. Kind of a spotty bait situation. Brandon's been saying that the bait's been pretty picked over. You got all the sport boats going out here, all the private boats. So they're going in 24 seven, picking up bait. So the bait that they're bringing in on the bait boats isn't prime stuff. It's not what we call cured. Cured is bait that's been sitting in the well, so their scales are gonna rejuvenate. The shock of getting caught in the nets and uh, transferred into the pens kind of subsides. So hopefully our bait situation's okay. Our rods are pretty much all rigged up. We gotta tie a few more hooks on, and then we're gonna head south about 60 miles, and hopefully when we wake up tomorrow morning, gray light, oh dark 30, or probably more like 6.30 at gray light, uh, we're gonna be able to start looking for some fish, searching for patties. Uh, a lot of these yellowfin tuna, a lot of these nice fish that they've been catching have been underneath the patties. You're looking at a kelp patty, which is basically a, a floating piece of detached kelp, and it's a hub for all things uh, sea life. You got bait under there, small mackerel, sardines, Spanish mackerel, uh, and in turn, it attracts all the big predators. The pelagic species that we're gonna be targeting, they're gonna be orienting underneath them uh, so hopefully we'll be able to find some of these floating fish hotels and get some nice fish. If not, there's been some blind jig strikes. The fish are coming up in the pattern, coming up in the spread. Uh, so there's always a chance we'll hook some nice fish doing that and then be able to drop back baits, be it swim baits or live bait, live sardines, and catch fish that way. We're captained by Brandon Nelson, good friend of mine. He's a hook buzz contributor. He's got a great rig here. It's rigged perfectly. So I have no doubt that if there are fishing area where we're heading, again, 60 miles south, he'll be able to put us on. Also joining me today, I got Clark McNulty from hookbuzz.com, the founder uh, and the main man behind that operation. And we've also got Nick Carlson from Pelican Gear, who's aboard as well, uh, to hopefully take advantage of some of the prime fishing down here in beautiful San Diego, California. Okay. I'm gonna be like Now this is what we're talking about. We've had a really nice offshore season this year. And out here with Brandon Nelson on the Lucky Bee, we're really getting a fine morning sample. All right. Oh! Yeah, Look up! Oh! You know, I hooked this fish on the right gear, which is nice, nice. Perfect patty setup. Trinidad 12 here, an older model. Got a Therese ADMH. And Brandon's been in the stern. There we go, buddy. Sorry. Captain Nelson. All right, here we go, right here. Yes? Yeah. Here we go, hey now. Oh, nice pull. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Woo. Nice one. San Diego Sport Fishing, bookbuzz.com crew, Kelp Rock and Dock. We're fishing a floating kelp 60 miles offshore, and this is how we do it in beautiful Dorado. So, what up, Clark Minolti? Just fighting a little dodo here, trying to get my uh, second fish on for the morning. Get a nice patty so far. Boated about, I don't know, two Dorado, one coming to the boat, three yellowfin tuna, and uh, things are going quite nice. Stuck in! Yeah, Clark! Yeah. You got dice? Just came up on a patty here, uh, about 70 miles south of San Diego. Couple birds on it, good sized patty, sea starboard side. And it's, uh, it's got every species on it. Tuna, Dorado, Yellowtail. We're just hoping maybe get a little bluefin action on this stuff. One stop shopping down here. We're on one patty and we've already got Dorado, Yelltail, and Yelfin. And this is maybe acting like more of the tuna kind. Charlie tuna fish. Soaking low. Well. Nick from Pelican's got a nice one. He's hooked up right now. Let's see what happens. He's got good form. Yeah. 
think we're gonna be in the back corner. Yeah, it's tuna fish. There we go. Yeah. There you go, buddy. You now it's really fun when you're out on these patties. The bike can transition very quickly from, say, Dorado and Yellowtail over to Yellowfin, which is basically what's happened here when we first came up. It was Dorado and small yellows, and now, well, it looks like Clark's bent on another Yellowfin. And we're a little ways off the paddy. We're not right on it. We're solid 150 feet off the paddy. One more crank. Let's get him up one more. There we go. Oh, that was over. <laughs> that was it. Oh. Yeah, hey, hey, we like that. In a circle. Nice. Yeah. There we go, boys. What's up? That's how we do it. Folks at home, folks at home. Evan Salve here, Cal Brock and Doc. We're out here, and I've had a lot of trouble catching a tuna. These guys have all caught a plentiful amount yeah, of bye. beautiful yeah, yellow. What is this? You guys are juju. It's bad. Oh, jeez. Okay. I finally hooked okay. a tuna fish. Back up, back up, back up. It's actually a better fish. You want dikes? They're dealing with it. What happened the first time this happened? <laughs> Just cut it. Oh, right, there we go. Got it. So we're back in the game. Hooked him on 20 pound. Little bit of lighter line. Maybe that's the trick. And we're just going to let him do its thing. It's a better fish. He's so. Talca. What is it? Talca 8, buddy. Single speed. Yeah, you got single speed there. Single speed here. Light line. Light line. You know what? We take our time. There's nowhere for this fish to go. This isn't a Calca bass. He's not going for the nearest boil rock. Not the old brick held stringer. No boil rocks out here, dude. No boil rocks out here. I guess it would be a 35 pound What are you talking about? What is that? Alright. Run back. Oh, it's a, it's a bluefin. No, it's a yellowfin. Oh, it's a yellowfin. Short fins. Oh, maybe. Can't tell. Alright. Yeah. Nice fish. Nice yellowfin tuna. Really good fishing. Back in action. Another nice yellowfin. On the right gear. Therese ADMH. Trinidad 12. 50 pound Spectra and a 25 pound leader. That's like the perfect paddy rig for out here. We got color, Brandon. Put him in the boat. Another nice fish. Nice fish. Nice one. Oh, oh. Oh, yes. Boop them. Boop them. Yeah. yeah. I know, I'm watching. All right, get here the we go. Hang, get the hang of the ball in the Back. Oh, you got a line on you. Five. Four. Five. I can work with that. Well, we just got off that kelp. I think we had about 15 mixed fish, the elephant and uh, the El Dorado. We're still heading south looking for another kelp. Hopefully we can troll up the school of elephant. Uh, maybe head out west a little bit for some roof for now before. So one of the biggest questions people ask me is what spectra to fluorocarbon connection do you use, whether you're fishing for calco bass or even offshore? This is the knot that I recommend for using some of the lighter tests up to maybe 50 pound test. It's called the Tony Pena and it's really easy to tie and I'm going to show you right now. First step, you take your piece of fluorocarbon leader. Like I said, it works up to about 50 pounds. Right here we got 25 pound. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a very simple overhand knot. Put it through once, and if it's a smaller diameter line, or you just want to have a larger stopper, because this is what this knot's serving as, is a stopper, you can do two overhand knots. So I'll do it one more time, just like so. So what you see is we have an open loop right there. Very easy first step. 
Now I'm going to take my Spectralite 65 pound Moss Green Power Pro right here. This is my favorite uh, line to use for Calco Bass. I got a little Shimano Curata here on a Terramar. I'm going to use this rig on the slide with the swim bait in case we get some troll bites here. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this line, the end of my main line, my Spectra, and I'm threading it through that. Whoa! Knock down! Oh, double, double! Get that one! Get on that! Reel that in! You know what? That is the magic of the Pacific Ocean. Thanks, man, Evan. Force that thing in, man. Get the center out. What do you got? Let's get the. Uh... All right, here we go. Hold on. Yeah, I got him. Yellow fish. 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 Yellow we have a couple of great pairs of binoculars with us today. These are Celestron and Oceanas. Really critical when you're offshore, and as we demonstrated earlier, a lot of times the right natty can make or break your morning or your whole entire day. And that's pretty neat. Got a little, uh, Three pound, four pound yellowtail on the swim bait on the patty. We're really pretty much out of bait, so it's nice to be able to stick them on, on a big hammer here. We got a six and a half inch a big hammer on just a hammerhead, a little one ounce head, and breaking them out uh, on the bass gear. Little Curato 300 EJ with the Terramar. Look at that beautiful fish. I ate a swim bait. Now we're just gonna let them go. You now it's really important, we have so many fish. Conservation is important even when you're offshore. These small yellowtail are the same fish that are going to be at the islands a little bit from now. So we're going to let them go, let them grow up, get bigger, turn into those 30 pound home guards. What's up? So the important thing with this catch is to keep it fresh. If you're going to take fish home, you might as well bring it to the table in the best condition possible. Clark just got this really nice Dorado. First thing we're doing, ripping the gills out, letting it bleed out. We're getting as much of the guts out as possible. Brandon's been doing a great job on the tuna as well. And then we're popping it in to the Lucky Bees fish holes right here. We got a brine solution in there. When you mix salt water with the ice, you can actually drop the temperature below what you can do with fresh water and ice. So we're going to pull them in there, you can see we got a loaded kill well, and on our way we're going to get these fish all cut up, and then when we get home, we're going to vacuum pack them so they're fresh for the table for months to come. What a day. Look at all these wonderful pelagic species. Clark, Brandon, Nick and I had a one-stop shop this morning aboard the Lucky Bee. We got a bunch of tuna, picked away at the Dorado throughout the day, and it's time to head home. We're pointing the boat for San Diego. The weather is beautiful. We got to cut all these fish and conclude what can once again only be considered an excellent day of sport fishing. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, hookbuzz.com, Kelbrock and Doc, and Team Bastic. Follow hookbuzz.com, the blog, the forum over there. Check out our contests, check out our giveaways. Join up, post your reports, post your pictures, and we will see you on the water. What I'm saying is that when you guys get a little bit older, you're gonna want anchovies on everything, dude. I guarantee it, I guarantee it. I want anchovies all the time now, and I hate it. This is just wonderful. Vicka, there's the Hurry, there's don't the, think about it. There's the smallest one. What, what's in it? What's it's it a caper with the anchovy. Anchovy is a fish. What is it? Normally uses bait. Just eat it. 
caper is like a small. The caper is like, you know, you get them in your pasta. Just eat it with the caper. You can't like dissect it, dude. If I do it, you do it. There you go. Eat it! <laughs> eat it! Man, you're like a little girl over there. So what do you think? So you like it? Look, he likes it! He likes it! He likes it! I got a kid likes it! Smothered in all of Ha! Ah, hey, see? Skipper, now it's your turn. No. As Skip? As, as Skipper, I refuse. No. Skip! Oh, I will kidding? turn this boat around. No, Skip!